Welcome to Level 365, your hosted communications provider. My name is Rebecca and I'm your onboarding specialist. This video will demonstrate how to use your Polycom phone. The Polycom phone is user-friendly and features multiple buttons to access the functions of the phone. We will first go over all the physical buttons on the phone, starting from left to right. The transfer button, which will allow you to transfer calls to another person. The voicemail button. Once you push this button, you will be prompted for the voicemail pin. If you have not already set up your voicemail pin, please refer to your welcome email that you should have received to complete your setup. The hold resume button. Pushing this button will put the call on hold only on your phone. In order to pick up the phone, hit the hold resume key again. The headset button. Pushing this button will activate your headset if you have one plugged into your phone. The speakerphone button. Pushing this button will activate the speakerphone and turn green. Pushing this button when you have an active speakerphone call will hang up the call. The mute button. Pushing this button will mute the microphone so the caller cannot hear you. If the mute is active, the button will light up red. There are four keys at the bottom of your screen that are called soft keys. These buttons change based on what you're doing on the phone at that given time. With no active call, you can see the buttons have different functions compared to when you do have an active call. With an active call, you will have the options to hold, end the call, transfer, and more. These soft keys are designed to help provide shortcuts to features based on what you're doing at that moment. The buttons on the left and the right of your phone screen are programmable keys. The first button is always programmed for your internal extension. The remaining buttons can be programmed for a variety of other functions. For example, they can be programmed for speed dials and park spaces. Speed dial buttons are used for quick dial access call pickup, and to see if an internal user is on the phone. If the button is flashing green, you can hit that button to pick up the incoming call. The button will light up red if that user is on the phone. If you would like buttons program, please reach out to our support department. This is the volume up and down button. Pushing the plus or minus button will change the volume of what task you are doing at that time. If you are not on the phone, the ringer volume will be changed. If you are on speakerphone, the speaker volume will be changed. If you are on the handset, the volume of the earpiece will be changed. The arrow keys on the right side of the phone are easy access buttons to recent calls. You can read down numbers using these arrows and hit dial. The down arrow is for missed calls. This button will also clear the scrolling missed call in the top right corner of your phone screen. The right arrow is for place calls. The up arrow is for favorites. This can be programmed from the home button. The left arrow is for received calls. There are three easy ways of placing a call on the phone. Calls can be placed to an internal extension number or external phone number. When dialing externally, you can use 10 digits or one plus 10 digits. To place a call using the handset, simply dial the number and pick up the handset. Or you can pick up the handset and dial the phone number. To place a call using the speakerphone, dial the number and hit send or the speakerphone button. Answering a call can be done either via the handset or speakerphone. When a call is ringing the phone, you can answer the phone by simply picking up the handset. Or if you want to answer the call via speakerphone, just press the speakerphone button. Each phone can place a call on hold. Keep in mind that the call placed on hold is only on that individual phone and can only be picked up from there. Once you have an active call, 
Placing a call on hold can be done by either hitting the soft hold button or the hold key. To pick up that call, just hit the resume soft key or the hold button. The next function is transferring a call. The key thing to remember is that once you have answered a call, you own that phone call and you will need to transfer or park that call in order for another person to pick it up. Transferring a call can be done three different ways, attended transfer, blind transfer, and transfer to voicemail. An attended transfer gives you the ability to announce the call before transferring the call. With an active phone call, hit the transfer soft key or the transfer key on your phone. Dial the person you want to transfer the call to and hit send. You can either dial an internal extension number or an outside phone number. Once you hit send, the original call will be placed on the hold and a private call will be created between you and the person that you're trying to transfer to. This will allow you to announce the call. To complete the transfer, hit the transfer soft key or the hard key a second time. The phone call will then be transferred directly to the attended person. Let's do one more example. Receive the inbound call, hit the transfer key, and dial the number you are going to transfer to. Announce the caller. Hi Bill, I have Jerry Smith on the phone for you. I am transferring the call to you now. Then hit the transfer key a second time. This will complete the call transfer. A blind transfer will send a call directly to a person without announcing the call. With an active phone call, hit the transfer soft key or the transfer key on your phone. Dial the person that you want to transfer the call to and hit send. To complete the transfer, hit the transfer soft key or the hard key a second time. This will send the call directly to the attended person. Let's do one more example. Receive the inbound call. Hit the transfer key, dial the number you want to transfer to, and hit send. Hit transfer a second time. This will complete the call transfer. Transferring straight to voicemail will send the call directly to the intended person's voicemail without ringing their phone. This will only work when transferring to an internal extension number. With an active phone call, hit the transfer soft key or the transfer hard key on the phone. Dial 99 plus the extension number. In this example, we're transferring to extension 1002. So we dialed 991002 to send directly to their voicemail. Once you hit send to the dial, the internal extension number, you will start to hear the person's voicemail greeting. Don't worry because this method will replay once you complete the transfer by hitting the transfer key. Let's do one more example. I've received the inbound call and I'm going to transfer that call. I'm going to hit send and then hit this transfer soft key for a second time. Using the park function allows the call to be picked up from any other phone within the system. Parking places a call on hold on a virtual line. Once a call is placed on park, any other user can pick up that call from any phone on the system. In order to park a call, you will need an active phone call. Hit the star button three times. The call is parked at seven, zero, zero. Once the call is parked, anyone can pick up that call by either dialing the park line number and hitting send or hitting a pre-programmed speed dial from the park position. If you have buttons programmed from the park position, the button will light up red if there is a call sitting on the park position. As you can see in our example, the park 700 button is lit up red and you can hit that button to pick up the call. One important thing to note is to listen to the message that plays once the call is parked. This will determine what line the call has been parked on because there may be more than one call parked within your company or your setup may have different parking extensions. Let's do one more example. Answer the incoming call. Hit the star button three times to park the call. The call is parked at seven, zero, zero. 
The call was parked on 700. To pick up the call, you can either dial 700 and hit dial or hit the pre-programmed park 700 button. The phones are capable of doing three-way calling, which will allow you to merge two calls together for three total parties. In order to make a three-way call, place the first phone call. Once that call is active, hit the More Soft key. And then hit the Conference Soft key. This will place the first call on hold. Place the second phone call. Once the second phone call is active, hit the more soft key, then press conference to merge the two calls together. Once the calls are merged together, there is a split soft key option if you wanna separate the two calls. To enter into voicemail, hit the message key on your phone. Please enter your password followed by the pound key. You will be prompted for your voicemail PIN. If you have not set up your voicemail PIN, please reference the welcome email that you should have received. The first time you log into your voicemail from your phone, you will be prompted to record your name and your greeting. Once you are logged into the voicemail, follow the prompts to listen to your messages. When you receive a voicemail, there are numerous ways to retrieve that voicemail if your phone is set up for these notifications. First, the red light on your phone will flash, indicating that you have a message. You will also receive an email with the voicemail attached that you can listen to directly from your email. You also have access to check your voicemail through the mobile app and the web app. Thank you for watching the Polycom Dusk Phone training video. If you have further questions, please contact our support team using our online support portal by going to support.level365.com. From this portal, you can open a ticket, chat with our support team, and access knowledge-based articles.